Hi everybody and Happy New Year! I was going to do a little bit in between Christmas and New Year and you know what, I just didn't have time so I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a good New Year um, we did, it was very family and children orientated um, we all made the decision not to buy the adults so Christmas is about the children, isn't it? And in the current climate, it just takes a lot of pressure off everybody. And in fact, the kids, my children, just bought small presents for their brothers and sisters, little ones as well. So, um, so yeah, we had a great time. Lots of food, lots of cheese. We didn't have, well, we did have some wine, um, but then... When we got to New Year, we came back here to our holiday home. I think the camera's wobbling. Sorry about that. Um, if it carries on, I'll move it. And we came back to our holiday home where we've got some friends here. And we went to the local bar, which had some live music on, which was amazing. And we had a really good time. Um, I did manage to get a little bit of knitting done in between Christmas and New Year and that's really what I've come on to talk about. Um, some of you will have seen things in Vlogmas um, but if you didn't, if you don't watch that I'm just going to go through a few things here. Um, I absolutely loved doing Vlogmas um, and I really miss it. It's like I was, you get to see a little bit more of the background behind the people that do the podcasts and you feel that they know them and when you've watched them for 24 days, you feel like they're friends and then when they've gone you think, oh, where's all my mates gone? Um, and you, I, I have missed watching them all this week. Um, I've gone on to the YouTube because I usually watch it catch up at night time um, gone on to YouTube and looked and it's like the vlog on hour because there's no new videos up and you know like when you call for your friends and there's nobody in I feel a bit like that um, so I can't wait for them all to, to get back on there and um, show some show some more things that they've been up to so um, so yeah so I'll show you what I've been doing I have finished these these are the um, the heartwarming socks. So yeah, so they're all finished. I haven't worn them yet. Um, they're lovely and soft. I'm going to make those again. That's the not not drops nord um, socks, and the grey is lovely. It's got you can't really see it on. Oh, you can yeah. It's got like a tiny little halo. I wouldn't mind a jumper doing in that. Um, I am, I'm not going to talk about things that I'm going to do in 2023. I'm going to save that for another video podcast. Um, I'm going to save that because there, I need to do a bit more research and find some pictures and things to put in. Um, so I could be more professional for you all. Um, and I got another pair of mitts done. These are, well, I felt really sorry for my daughter um because she'd wanted some and we weren't buying each other and she'd seen these so i wrapped mine up because i had started them but i knew i wouldn't get them finished for christmas so i had started them so i wrapped mine up and i hid them in the children's presents so she didn't even know that she was going to get anything until she there was giving the presents out um, so yeah, so she's got a pair and she has sent me a picture of them. Um, I don't think a partner gets it because they've no fingers in. And to be fair, it was bitterly cold, she said, when she took the dog out. She could have done with some fingers. And a friend said, can your mum not learn to to knit fingers for next year? So um, I think they had a bit of a laugh. So, But in the, the kit that I got, it was a little kit from the knitting shed. And there was just four balls of wool and it did say I didn't read it I just thought they were for one pair it did say that if you maneuver the wool around you will get two pairs out of them so if you swap the colours like maybe make the the green and the pink your main colour you'd get two pairs out of them 
that these are exactly the same as the original pair and I was literally for the um the light crimson I split the wool because I did intend on making if I didn't have enough for the cuffs because they're the bits that you do last and then the thumbs if I didn't have enough for the thumbs I would have done them in the green which I've got plenty left um so but I divided what I'd got left in the crimson into two halves um and I think on one of them I've just not quite done as much rib as the other but that's fine but yeah I did get two pairs out of those and these were the other ones um i can't remember the name of the pattern i have got one started with i've still got my christmas bag oh they're not in here oh i know where i brought this is me this one bedtime knitting whenever i know i've said it before whenever i bring some bedtime knitting because i do struggle to sleep sometimes i have a struggle to sleep or wake up really early whenever i bring some knitting in here i don't need it so that's going to be a, a thing so this is what i've got left i'm just up to the heel now on that this is knit, knitted in um bird street yarns oh solo um yeah it is oh solo so so yeah so i'm just up to the i've got the heel flap to do and then so i'm not in any rush to do those do you know what i've not really enjoyed knitting these i don't know why it's funny isn't it how you just sort of think oh yeah i like i like knitting those um but yeah i don't i don't know why and i like the yarn the pattern looks nice i think it just might be a combination because some hand dyed yarns are a bit more is it focusing really a bit more i don't know got more of a twist to it whereas i think if i'd have done them in something like this that's a bit more woolly woolly if i hope i make sense um i think it might have looked a bit better but so yeah so i will finish them i'm not going to leave them um so i will get i will get those finished and they'll probably be finished this week because I'm determined that before I start anything else, I want to get those done. Um, and then this year, I've just been on Instagram and posted my, oh, what did they call it? I don't know. You pick, you pick five things anyway for 2023 and i'll talk about those as well in the next podcast but i do want to get the whips finished i don't have a lot i've got those socks and i've got two blankets one of them is the cable magoria blanket which i've not got a lot of that and that grows really quickly and then i've got the crocheted one and you know i'm not in any hurry but i want to get those finished and i will always have a a pair of socks on the go but i do want to make proper garments and that is on there and i said i'm not going to talk about it and there i am talking about it um when i say proper garments i mean a jumper um i've got a shawl i'm going to show you the kits that i got as well for christmas um something other than socks that i can sort of is a long slow project I like a pair of socks because I like the instant gratification. You know, I can whip up a pair of socks in, I don't know, three days. Um, if I put my mind to it and if I've got nothing else stopping me. So, yeah, so I can do that. And I do like the instant gratification. I am going to make some mitts and a hat pan again. I'm not talking about my what I'm going to do, am I? So I'll shut up about that. Um there's somebody just walking past window they'll wonder what i'm doing i, I might even close the lines because they'll see me sat here but um yeah so christmas we went home and forgot to take our advent calendars so when we got back we just opened them um robert got i 
think all his were, were the same as what he'd already had so you didn't really miss anything and I got another bowl of I keep looking over there because that's where the window is um I keep oh I know I've gone off I got another bowl of the robin yarn um which I'd been wanting to I had a bit of a disaster with Rob socks the ones that I made um in the robin yarn and I hope I don't know whether I knitted them quickly and my tension were looser because I've not used that yarn before um but the leg on it were ended up being quite baggy and the fit wasn't great and I've just did them exactly the same as all his other socks but I just he wore them he wore them for Christmas day and he had a new pair of slippers and I don't know whether they because the new slippers kind of pulled it down a little bit um or oh, what oh, I might have to do it because they're talking right loud um hang on I'll shut the blinds in a minute so they can't see me hang on I hear I'm back again I don't think I'm right about it um and if you hear them loud the uh, they will be loud so I can't even remember what I said oh yeah the fit of these socks so they ended up being a bit loose and baggy and I think maybe because I knit I wanted him to open them Christmas morning so I don't know whether I've just knitted them looser or what but I don't know um so I have got some more of it and I will make him some more I might just go down needle size and see what it is um so yeah but anyway yeah so so i got another ball of that which i do like and i am going to make christmas socks all year round um because I, I, everybody were like oh yeah they're nice so so I'm, I'm going to make more knitted presents but i am going to i'm not putting pressure on myself to get them all done at christmas i'm going to do them all year round and just put them away especially through summer knitting on blankets and things is not a summer thing is it you know and it's over your legs and your heart um whereas socks you can pop in a bag and we'll be going out on different day trips and things like that stick them in the car it's good car knitting so that's what i'm going to do um, and i've still got loads of patterns left that i want to um oh, well, i've got loads of patterns left that i still want to make so yeah so let's talk about what i got for christmas on the 25th one was my present and it was this box i'll not turn it round my address is on the other side um not that i think you stalkers but um and i i had picked this myself it's from the knitting shed and it was a kit for this jumper this is the knitter magazine i don't buy it all the time i just whenever something's nice and i've made this is issue 170 and it's a real good one this you can get it back back ordered from the knitter or i think i've picked an extra one up from ebay but it's this jumper i absolutely love it but of course when i had this this is from got to be last year might even have been from Chris, Christmas before, so it might even have been 14, 15 months ago. Um, this absolutely scared me to death, knitting that. But that's why I wanted to do those, so that I thought it would give me a good insight into, into doing that. So this is the kit for it. So it all came nicely boxed little knitting shed sticker on lovely tissue paper sort of bronze metallic and that's the pattern so it's the serif jumper to match the mittens um and i think if i get if any of the colors i've got left i can make some more mittens to match but the colors are absolutely gorgeous so I'll hold it like that and they're all the um, Jameson and Smith Shetland wool um, these are numbers but they're just 
well you can see they're absolutely beautiful so that's and the needles in the advent calendar um that, that i under on the vlogmas they're all the needles that i need to make this um i've got a lot of straight needles from when i used to knit before um and i don't know if there's any better picture so you can see in here i'll have a look um but i didn't have the proper needles to go with the jumper so so they were part of it i keep urging nearer to the um to my phone so that's it um it's, it's a crop jumper which i don't really like crop jumpers but what i'm going to do i'm going to buy a white shirt to go under it um but i'll see it see on the fit but it is lovely isn't it just look at that but that's that's more going to be a slow process. I'm not rushing it. Well, I can't rush that, can I? Um, and that'll be that'll be lovely. And the other thing that I showed you on Vlogmas was my Fair Isle Christmas Eve gift box. It was a surprise. Um, again, it was colour work. I knew it was going to be Fair, well, Fair Isle. Um, I'm going to insert a picture because the picture on there doesn't really do it justice um, and it's a cowl and there that is what you got and there is a little stitch marker a little pair of mittens I don't know if you can see on there as well so you got that and you got a hot chocolate which I've not had yet um, so I don't know whether this is going to be my next project it's a bit more color work oh, i should show you that should i i don't know but anyway um it's called winter walk cowl and it's from the lucy locket land shop which i do want to go and see um so i think that's going to be my next cast on and that'll put me in good stead for doing that one now when i was at home i showed you some happy mail and it was the blue fern um, painted honeycomb shawl kit um, and I had a few messages just to say could we have a look at what the colours were so I just thought I'd go through it this is another one that I really want to um, oh, not very comfy. another one that I really want to get started um, so the it's blue fern yarns of norfolk and it's yak four ply and that it says is undyed so that's your your i don't say main color because there's not really a main color but there's that one is called happiness I think this that one's an undyed this one is called royal these are coming up pretty true to to color that one is caribbean sea i think because they dyed on a gray they must they're a little bit more muted um that one is magenta oh this is nice that's ink that's beautiful and they're quite tonal as well so they're not all one colour emerald and the, on that there is a few you can see there there's a few different kind of shades maple that's a nice one i love all these colours wine o'clock i like that colour don't we yeah so that so there are all the colours which are, I'll have them up like that. Yeah, so they're beautiful. And I've also already printed the pattern off. I might, I might have a look. Once I've finished the socks, I might have a look at how much work there is in this. Because um, that might be an idea, ideal one to just have on the go. I like, I like a bit of variation. Um, I think because I've only got those socks 
that I'm not enjoying down there. That's the only knitting I've got cast on at the minute, apart from the blankets. And I like to do a bit of this and a bit of that. I think that's why I'm not enjoying it, because it just seems like I'm just doing that all the time. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, that's, that's all, really, for today. Um, I just wanted to catch up and show you the kits that I'd had for Christmas. And my little bit of knitting in between christmas um and then i will be back i'll probably do it next week um and i'll find the all the pictures out to go with the corresponding items that i want to make and get that together i'll be a bit more organized might even be a bit professional um and get that sorted for you so thanks for watching um we've had some new subscribers as well thank you very much for that and don't forget keep hitting the like button um ask as many questions that seems to work as well when people are um chatting to you in the little in the chat i don't know what you call it when we say oh ask a question in the description um yeah so uh so yeah so hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more and my next video will be what I'm going to make in 2023. So thanks for watching. Bye.